In the beginning of March, Terry Francisco chants beside a small group of Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center consumers to open Chamorro Month. As a psychiatric social worker in the Adult Counseling Unit, Terry pioneered the groundbreaking Chamorro Chant Therapy Program, providing culturally appropriate care for consumers. It's a milestone in her evolution as a Chamorro woman, with roots from the Ethan Alayan Oral History Project. I've been a, a part of the organization for about 10 years now, and what drew me to the drew me to chanting was um, reconnecting with traditional practices to help restore my own um, identity as a Chamorro person. Terry has applied that decades worth of Finohaza research in chant to a curriculum at the department. It incorporates chant, the Chamorro language, music and storytelling into group therapy. The curriculum itself I've been running for several years now about three years um, and it's been pretty successful right the consumers really enjoy having this cultural outlet of expression um, and being able to tell stories and t tell poetry and and sing in the language right and what i didn't anticipate um, was that it would expand into a really multicultural um, setting right and so the consumers um, of all ethnicities are able to come and share in their language, right? So their traditional lullabies, um, songs that they miss, um, they, they miss hearing their caregivers sing to them. Um, and really this has just been an open space of love and acceptance and that in itself has been very healing. These are practices she's seen before. First, while working on her master's degree in Hawaii, where it's the norm to integrate Native and Western systems, including the Hawaiian practice of conflict resolution. Then in 2015, Guam Behavioral Health sent her to New Zealand for an indigenous-based social work conference. And there, I, it really pivoted me forward in my empowerment and in my, in my work to integrate cultural practices into Western therapy. Culture is important in therapy, in social work, in um, social care and social welfare because culture is how we understand who we are, right? And if a um, client, um, if you want, if a client is going to invest in their treatment and in their well-being, it has to be in language that they understand. Right? It has to be based in the values and beliefs that they respect right? in order for them to respect their treatment right? and invest in their treatment in a certain way. Right? We're not going to want to do something that we don't believe in right? or that we don't connect to. In 2016, Terry was only two years into her work at Guam Behavioral Health when she was recognized as the Employee of the Year. Her chant therapy program also helped her nab the Government of Guam's Merit Club of Excellence Award, and she also was the National Association of Social Workers Social Worker of the Year. And all that is just a start. Terry took up the University of Guam's Amit Chamorro class with Zita Pengalinen and worked with traditional healers. And it's all connected to improving Guam's system of care. It's important, again, because, um, you know, Chamorros, right? So. Um, when they experience mental illness, right? If they don't believe in Western therapy or Western medication, they're going to seek out a surahana or a surahana, right? And it's important to understand a little bit of both practices, right? So my Western education, right, in academia, my Western, as a social worker, right, um, has taught me has taught me that part, right? And and now I'm trying to expand my knowledge of Chamorro healing and medicine. Terry is driven to do better for her people, and that drive comes from within. What really motivates me and inspires me personally on this journey and to do this work is my own experience as a Chamorro youth with intergenerational trauma, and. Intergenerational trauma is the painful stories that we get as Chamorro children that are passed down to us. Um, painful stories about our mothers and our grandmothers and our grandfathers um, 
and their experience with being Chamorro and how they were beaten for speaking the language. And not just that, but really the whole movement to be more Western, right? To be, to be shamed for who you are. In itself, this renaissance of Chamorro culture is very good for our people, right? It's, it's been very healing collectively um, because it's creating more positive experiences for being Chamorro and being proud of who you are. And I want to acknowledge, of course, the women that I come from, right? Um, my grandmothers, um, Maria Meno San Augustine and Maria Rivera Francisco, my mother, Geraldine Rector, and um, of course, my mentor, uh, Lisa Natividad. And these women have really inspired me, loved me, and guided me to be the person that I am today.